Alrighty everyone, thanks for joining me today. Nick with the Knife Center here with the new K-Bar KBD Master Series designed by Mike Snowdy. These are the Boss, the Big Boss, sorry, the Boss and the Snake Charmer. New knives all made in the USA, all featuring S35 VN steel, which is superb. One of the top steels that we have on the market right now, you know, it's going to get corrosion resistance and, um, you know, edge holding capabilities right. I think actually it, uh, was an evolution of S30V steel and it improved upon the already good corrosion resistance and edge holding capabilities of that steel. And it was the first steel, you know, specifically designed for use of knives and that was uh, designed by Crucible Metal with uh, lots of input from Chris Reeve who is, you know, one of the kings of the industry. All right, getting into these knives, this is the big boss, more of your, you know, small camping slash last ditch tactical fixed blade knives. This is a great knife. It's got a good handle. You know, both of these, this is a plastic. It looks kind of like a rubber, kind of like a, a cool katana kind of, you know, pattern in there, but it is kind of a plastic and they do come, they, they call this the reptile blue and they both come, well, the uh, boss and big boss at least with, you know, an extra set of Hala Dala purple handle scales, which is something cool, you know, if you just want to, uh, to show it off and you don't want to, you know, scare anybody when you pull out a knife. It's got purple handles. Most people, you know, that in yellow, people think that, you know, you're not going to kill them when they, you pull that kind of thing out. But I wouldn't really consider this a, um, like a first kind of tactical knife because you cannot really prevent your finger from sliding forward if you're stabbing. And this kind of tip really is not really meant for stabbing. It needs to be sharpened up here. It is very thin, which is nice, but you know, it's just not really that sharp on the tip, which is, you know, kind of better for your camping tasks. This guy is a small EDC knife. This is chisel ground, I forgot to mention. This one in particular, let's check out the Snake Charmer. No, you gotta grind on both sides, but only this, you know, boss model is chisel grind, which actually makes sharpening easier because you really just need to sharpen this bit right here. And, um, you know, you'll kind of just remove the burr from this back edge, but you really only have to sharpen half the knife, so that makes it a little bit easier. But I'd consider this really a small EDC fixed blade. Comes with a nice leather sheath, which makes it really not a, um, a neck knife because you cannot really wear it around your boot or your neck is, you know, the Kydex sheath that the Snake Charmer comes with is much better set up for that. But, let's get that all the way in there. Yeah, this is definitely a camping knife or an EDC fixed blade. Got lashing holes so you can, you know, tie it to your belt whichever way you want depending on the thickness of your belt. You know, if you're gonna lash it horizontally like this where your belt is running this way, you gotta have a thin belt. I imagine that's about an inch and a half cannot be two inches, no way, no way. But this is just a great knife. I think all of these ones will serve you well no matter what you're trying to do with them. Good materials, great design, great designer. You know, nothing really wrong with these knives. Like both of these fixed blades with the, uh, you know, the boss and the big boss will come with the leather sheaths. They also come with a Schmuckatelli bead, which they make really, you know, just very nice pewter um, oxidized beads. And this is actually designed, that's Mike Snowdy's logo right there. A cool dollar sign. You actually see that featured in these handle scales, the Hala Dala handle scales. So something you get there, a Schmuckatelli bead, you know, you can tie your lanyard on there. And lastly, it comes with uh, eight feet of 550 paracord. So you can use that to attach the lanyard bead or you can use that to attach the, uh, the belt sheath or the sheath to your belt. Getting into a little bit more about the Snake Charmer. Here is the Kydex sheath. Well, actually, this is not really Kydex. This is a plastic sheath. At least it's made in the USA. So, you know, at least the quality is there. It is an interesting design. You don't just shove it in. You know, looking at how it comes through there, you're really not gonna be able to fit the blade in this way without, you know, hitting the, uh, the tang right there, the finger guard right there. So you really have to come in from the top. You slide it in this way and go around, and it's really nice. You just push down this way, and it really just pops out. It's super easy. You don't pull down this way, because that really, you're not going anywhere. Again, the uh, finger guard right here is stopped by that part. So you really just push down, and it pops out right away. Something that is different, but a nice sheath design. It really just holds it well. And let's do the old no rattle. That's the key for a good sheath. Interesting that it's got two finger holes here. You would think you just pull it apart, but that is not the case. So a good sheath on this one. Let's get into some competitive options. Really, I view these as two similar knives, even though it, they're both good for EDC, you know, small EDC, EDC fixed blades, and this one is a, you know, a good neck knife. I'll just compare this one and then two of these together. Um, the larger K-Bar, I think that, um, 
Spyderco enough. This is a very, very nice knife. Look at the thickness of that steel. All the way through, full cast 440C. Maybe not the best steel, but it is cast, so that will make it much stronger. And 440C has always been known for having good edge holding capabilities. I would definitely not consider this one exactly like this as a tactical knife. I would consider it first and foremost a camp knife because of that finger guard. You know, there's no choil there. The grind starts right there, you know, immediately. So you're using it, very nice, but you know, you're just gonna slice your finger if you try and stab. This is very good. Imagine batoning through wood like this. You're gonna split anything and you're gonna split it quickly. So that's a good option there. And also, Becker, BK2. You know, what bad can be said about a BK2? Um, if there's anything, I really haven't heard it. You know, the thickness is on par with that. You know, very, very thick, 1095. Very good user steel. You know, if you happen to uh, be batoning through wood, and you actually hit the ground or you know hit a rock with this edge you're more likely just to roll it instead of chip it out which will happen with your harder steels and that is you know much better you know much preferred by me at least and by many people that use their knives at least for camping kind of things like that because you can resharpen a rolled edge you're going to have to take out a lot more steel if you take a nick out of that blade. And I think 1095 is a good steel for that. Powder coating, it'll prevent rusting buildup on there. Keep a little bit of edge, you know, oil on your edge. You know, I'd say every, if you're camping and it's humid, every night, you know, you should try and put a little bit of oil on the, just the edge. That's really all you need. Another great thing about the BK2 is the handle. It's super comfortable. You know, I don't have huge hands, but really... It looks thick, but it is extremely, extremely well designed. You know, you get a good positive grip. It's something that, it's very comfortable. It's kind of like a, uh, a bushcrafting knife where you're just, you know, you're gonna be happy to use this knife a lot and it's great for gloves as well. Alrighty. Let's give a couple options versus the, um, the Snake Charmer and the Boss, the smaller model. Here's the Cold Steel Mini Tack. I prefer the Skinner model versus, you know, the Beaver Tail or the Tanto. It just, you know, is EDC tasks a lot more that I'm looking for. It only gives you, you know, two finger grip on there. I'd tie a little lanyard on there, give it a little bit extra option. But it comes with a nice Kydex sheath, so this is a nice little boot or neck knife. Good option there. The Columbia River model 2388, and this is the Spew, designed by Alan Foltz. And Spew is for, um, a small pocket everyday Warncliffe. You know, your Warncliffe is this flat edge blade right here. Um, you know, pretty good for utility tasks, not very good for, you know, skinning or anything that requires belly. You know, imagine trying to do, you know, roll cuts or slicing an apple with this, but boxes and, you know, tape and things like that really just jump apart with a Warncliffe. Um, preferred by some people, I, I, do, I do like them. You know, there's nothing wrong with a Warncliffe. I would not say I would carry one every day, but they are good options. All right, lastly, uh, White River, and this is the model, the Pack, Back Packer, sorry, not the Pack Racker, Back Packer. And, uh, you know, anytime you can get a camo handle or something like that, you know, anything besides black, I just prefer that. So, you know, went with this one, I like it. S30V, very much like an Azula, with some positive jimping here, a good design. Comes with the, uh, the paracord wrap already. Of course, it's hollow inside there. And, um, you know, just gives a much better grip than, you know, you get with the Azula out of package, I think. Um, Yes, yeah, a little bit slimmer blade, not as wide. Comes with a, uh, a similar Kydex sheath, which you know is a perfect option. I think these will serve you very well no matter what you need them for. All right, and lastly, let's end with some specs. Big Boss, nine inches overall, four and a half inch blade, 0.188 inches thick. And of course, S35 VN steel hardened to 58 to 62. Pretty big range on that, I'd probably say I don't know if it's 62 on the Rockwell, you know, maybe 60. 58 to 60 sounds about more right. Um, 6.4 ounces, and these sheaths are made by JRE Leather, and they are extremely nice. You know, you can go up look up that company. They make some fine, fine products. So this one, 6.4 ounces. Moving on, the Boss, this is th six and a half inches overall. Actually, both of them, the Snake Charmer and the Boss, are six and a half inches overall. The Boss, three and a half inch blade two and a half inches on the Snake Charmer. Um, both are 0.125 inches thick, which is uh, you know pretty nice thickness for a, a neck knife. Um, eighth of an inch is about where you want to be. Anything thinner, it can, uh, it can break off on you, but anything thicker, you know you might just have a little bit too much uh, sticking out of your shirt, something like that. So I think uh, an eighth of an inch is good. Uh, 2.7 ounces, 1.7 ounces, you know, leather sheath, and the beautiful 
not really beautiful green plastic, but you know, it functions excellently. So nothing I would complain about this sheath with. All right guys, thanks for joining me. Oh, what I'm carrying today, since I knew I'd be uh, reviewing a Snowdy today, I brought my Benchmade, this is a 426, so I thought it was the Gravitator, but it is the hybrid. It's got, you know, the, the other Snowdy design blade instead of his Warncliffe model. I love this one. It's got the uh, tool woven. It looks like carbon fiber, but it is G10, uh, G10 there. This is more of a collector's piece for me, titanium liners and, and lock like that, just because uh, it hasn't been made for a while. I love the action. This is, you know, something that is just super fun to play with. Um, solid lockup. You know, this is, Mike Snowdy is known for making very nice looking knives and also knives that are going to accumulate in value. That's the key, you know, something that you're not going to lose money as soon as you purchase it. So I like this one. It is a great knife. Um, this blade has actually been put on a bunch of other Benchmade and H&K designs, but this handle is something different. I love it. It feels great. Something, you know, it kind of looks like a Yojimbo handle and, um, you know, some that they may not be the best looking, but darn, it feels great. And, you know, things like that, get them, try them, guys. Once you get it in your hand, you may think something very differently about, uh, about what you did before. You know, it may not be the best looking, but darn, it feels good. And this is a great knife. I like the, uh, the split arrow pocket clips. This is stone washed. And this pocket clip is not reversible. It's set up for tick down carry, which is maybe why I don't carry it. Um, I really only like my knives to carry tip up. Otherwise, I just don't clip them to my pants at all, really. So, um, yeah, this is what I'm carrying today, guys. Thanks for joining me. Take care. Have a good one.